April 24th became a day for us in the 20th Bomber Command to remember. General Saunders and Colonel Jake Harmon led the B-29 parade into Chengdu. Nearly all the immense airfields were ready for business. They had been built in only three months. Within 10 days, our Asiatic strength was 130 superforts. Directed by the Joint Chiefs of Staff because of our long range and power, we were the first units of the 20th Air Force. The President's promise was being kept. By June, our bases in China were working around the clock. The Joint Chiefs of Staff had ordered an attack gun Japan. How many bombers could be sent? Our answer was 50. Not enough, get at least 70. A maximum effort was necessary. Our target was Yawata, Japan's heavily guarded Pittsburgh. Yawata, which made one-fifth of all Jap steel. General Stratemeyer, the theater air commander, and Wolf watched 68 superports become airborne. Almost the entire force ordered for this historic mission. Guided by our navigators, we began the long hop across the Yellow Sea. Landfall, Japan. The enemy was waiting. Up came heavy, bursting flak. Nearly five miles below lay the sprawling mills that armed the Japs. Jimmy Doolittle had said we'd be back. And we were. The Global Bomber and the Global Air Force were in operation. The beginning of the end of the Japanese Empire was underscored in exploding bombs that reminded the Japs of Pearl Harbor. The battle for Japan is now underway with full speed ahead.